So, kung magtataka kayo guys, kaya ako nakaganito, may ano yan. Hi guys! It's Rain! So, for today's video, we will be doing a different kind of video. Kasi po, um, sa mga normal kong ginagawa, which is vlog and reaction video, this will be a somewhat different sit-down vlog. Kasi, ay, excuse guys dyan, pimple yan na hindi ko na alam kung ano nangyari. Pero, ayun, namumula-mula pa. Pero yun guys, uh, as you can see, nakapola po ako ngayon. Kasi pag-uusapan po natin ngayon is yung mga multimedia art school. So yes, uh, if you're not familiar with multimedia, multimedia is from the root word multi, meaning madami siyang fields, and media, meaning media. So, Pag media kasi, ito yung mga sinasabi natin TV, uh, newspaper, tabloids, radio, yan yung mga media. Now, when you say multimedia, hindi lang doon nagtatapos. Doon napapasok yung mga advertising, mga social media. Doon, doon papasok yun. So, ano nga bang ginagawa ng mga social media? So, sorry, sorry, na ano na ako. So, ano nga bang ginagawa ng mga multimedia artists? Sila yung mga gumagawa ng mga videography, photography, graphic design, yan, yan yung mga specialty nila. And sa iba naman, pag major in animation, kasi sila yung gumagawa ng mga anime, animation film, mga, uh, mga anime, ganun, or mga Disney Pixar, yan, yan yung mga ginagawa ng mga animators, or mga graphic design. So, pag graphic artist ka, doon din papasok yung multimedia. Somewhat connected din siya, pero may ano talaga yun, may specific course din na for animation. May multimedia kasi na focus on graphic design, videography, and photography. And also, there is multimedia naman na focuses on animation. So, in college, there are schools kasi na they will let you choose if your focus will be on the graphic design or the animation part. So, for me, uh, mahina po ako sa drawing, so hindi ko po forte yon. So, uh, ang ia-apply ko po sa for college is yung for graphic design. So, for today's video, we will be doing, uh, yun nga, yung mga multimedia schools, their requirements, and scholarships, and also yung mga prices nila. Lahat itatakal natin sa video na to. Kasi madami, kasi ngayon, uh, ito na yung season ng mga applying. Kasi madami na nag-open na applications nila and magtatapos sila sa December or next year. Pero majority is December. So, simulan na natin guys. Um, as you all know, uh, I'm a DMT student. Na-mention ko na to dun sa pinakauna kong uh, educational vlog which is nung nag-enroll ako sa Don Bosco so I am a, a Bosco nyan and I am a DMT student if you didn't know what is DMT this is somewhat uh, multimedia track in senior high school na ino-offer ng school namin and also there are some schools na nag-offer nun um, if gusto nyo malaman yung mga, yung mga incoming senior high school na gusto mag multimedia I'll leave the link of my vlog about that and yung mga schools na dapat a-applyan ko for the multimedia course for senior high school ah. So ngayon, uh, this is the college edition. So ayon, simulan natin yung school na pinaka do dominant sa mga multimedia kasi sila yung pinaka unang-una sa hindi naman, uh, correct me if I'm wrong guys pero sila yung pinaka famous and pinaka matagal na sa multimedia na nagtuturo. So, unahin natin is De La Salle College of St. Benilde. So, yung De La Salle College of St. Benilde is a school of De La Salle, well, DLSU. And, ito yung art school ng De La Salle. And, hindi lang uh, arts, yun, hindi lang arts yung in-offer nila. They offer yung nga multimedia, architecture, and also fashion design. So, if you're into those things, you can also apply for them. DLS CSB. So, ito yung requirements ng CSB, guys. Kasi kaka-release lang nila last week, I think, October 15 yata sila nag-release. So, ayan, October 15 nag-release ng mga requirements sila. Pero, ayan, explain ko lang yung requirements nila. Their general requirements is, first off, is accomplish application form online. So, you can find it 
in their website yung application form. Second is applicant's consent verification and authorization. So, yung applicant, meaning ako, pero hindi po ako mag-a-apply. For example lang po, ako si applicant, uh, i-input ko yung details ko dito and parang gagawa kayo ng consent na parang ina-authorize nyo sila to facilitate you in entering their school. Kasi wala na nga pong, kung hindi nyo po alam, wala na pong mga entrance exam sa CSB or any schools. Ateneo, USD, wala na. UP, wala pang announcement. So, I'll, ano na lang, kasi this is a two-part series. So, uh, pag-uusapan natin dito is yung first five na may multimedia arts talagang course and yung iba yung near sa multimedia. So, yun, uh, yun nga, applicants consent and verification and authorization. Second one is birth certificate. Yes, um, I don't have sample na um, NS of birth certificate, but you can order it online at nso.gov.ph yata or PSA. Pero yun, ang um, amount nun is parang it ranges from, I think, 300 yata yung uh, with delivery na. So, depende kung saan kayo naka-locate, pero mura lang naman yung delivery fee nun. Pero, ang convenient lang nun kasi i-deliver na sa bahay nyo yung, ano nyo, yung PSA birth certificate nyo. And, dun sa vlog ko pala na-mention ko sa senior high, na-mention ko dun kung how to authenticate an original PSA birth certificate. So, again, I'll leave that in the link in the description below. And, second, ay, the fourth one na requirements ng St. Benilde is Benilde Recommendation Form. Downloadable from the... Downloadable yung form. Sorry, sorry. Tapos, itong recommendation form is ipapa... Ano nyo? Ipapasagot nyo sa counselor nyo, advisor, and principal or discipline head or kung ayaw nyo naman na mag ganun, -ganun pwede nyo namang uh, ipasa is good moral character. So, yung good... God? So, yung good moral character nyo will be um, requested on your present school. So, kung kunwari ako, I will ask the school registrar to release my GMC. So, yung GMC, depende sa school, may bayad yun minsan, ask nyo na lang kung paano sa advisors nyo. And the last one is Benil Secondary Scholastic Rec Record Form or Grade 11 Senior High School Report Card Certified by School Registrar. So, Dalawa ang hihingiin nyo sa registrar ng school nyo or ano, kasi may iba kasing school na magkahihulay sa GMC kasi yung good moral, minsan kinukuha yan sa a guidance office, ganon. Pero yun, uh, dalawa yung kukunin nyo sa present school nyo which is good moral character and yung uh, grades nyo ng grade 11. But may mga ibang schools dito ako na may mention na hinihingi nila is yung first term ng grade 12. So, if wala pa kayo nun, Pwede maghintay muna kayo para ma-release yun. Pero if na-release na, pwede yun yung ipasa nyo. So, yon Ito yung pinaka-importante. Kasi lahat naman tayo, especially now in this pandemic, hindi lahat uh, may pera. So, uh, di-discuss ko yung tuition fee ng Benil. So, ang tuition fee ng De La Salle CSB is 84000 um if face-to-face uh, -face learning. Meaning to say, face-to-face -face learning, ito yung normal classes. So, pag sinabing normal classes, yun na yung madamihan, pero malabo na mag-face-to-face -face pa ngayon. Kasi nga, pandemic and all. So, itong 84,000, uh, share ko na lang din, but CSD is in a trisem basis. Meaning to say that tatlong term sila per year. Hindi sila yung dalawahan lang na two sems, three sems. So, if kukumpitin nyo is 84,000 times 3 uh, wait na, compute natin so kung 84,000 84,000 times 3 your total per year is 252 but ito yung ano every year uh, bababa din yun kasi umuunti yung units nyo so hindi siya 84 per year pero bababa yan depende sa ano nyo Pero, if online classes naman, is 64,000 lang yung tuition fee. So, medyo mahal pa din, pero let's compute if 64 times 3, 192,000 yung per year. And again, yung every year, bababa yan. And, kunwari, nag-start kayo ng online class and biglang mag-blended. 
syempre, ang magiging tuition nyo na is yung normal. So, ayun guys, continue tayo. I'm so sorry for the delay. And also, dito na papasok yung mga scholarships. Scholarship ng Benilde, uh, same lang ng application period. Ang application period po pala ng St. Benilde is October 15, 2022, January 15, 2020. So, you have uh, three months to apply for them and yung release ng result is sa March 31, 2021. So, ay sorry, January 20, 15, 2021. Sorry, and nandito kasi sa cheat sheet ko is 2020 na mali ako. Pero yun, yung scholarship nila is, yun nga, same din sa application period. So, pagka-apply nyo, pwede na kayo mag-apply sa uh, scholarship nila. But, ito lang guys, uh, sinabihan ako ng admission kasi tumawag ako sa admission nila. I'll leave na lang the number here. Ito yung contact number ng admission. But, sinabi nila na yung ginagrant lang ngayon ng Benil sa scholarship is very limited. So, uh, pray-pray na lang kung sino makakapasa. So, ang labanan dito is either you have the good grades or pasok yung criteria mo sa ano nila or mayaman ka talaga. So, hindi ko naman din discourage lahat na mag-apply sa St. Benilde or scholarship. But you can apply pero uh, keep in mind na very limited lang yung ibibigay nila kasi nga pandemic. So, ayun, uh, important reminders for scholarship. Students may apply and avail of only one scholarship grant kasi madaming scholarship grant ang binibigay ng Benil. Uh, mix and match na lang kung anong babagay sa inyo. Pero, ayun, requirements for each scholarship or grant are different. So, uh, I'll leave na lang yung scholarship nila sa, yung link ng scholarship nila in the description below para kayo na bahala kung ano. Kasi, pag iisa-isahin natin, just ko, eh di gumawa na lang ako ng how to apply to CSB. Pero yun, um, all scholarships slash grants are only until the degree program duration as determined by flow charts. Hindi ko sure kung paano itong number T. Pero yun. Four is different detention policies apply for scholarship or grant type. Nandun naman yun guys kung ano yung mga rules and ano nila kung paano nagiging flow ng ano. Pero if matanggap naman kayo, eh, explain naman nila yun through orientation. So yun. Procedure ng pag-apply ng scholarship. Students may apply and avail for only one scholarship nga. Again, requirements for each scholarship or grant are different. Same lang pala sila. Inulit ko lang. Pero yun guys, uh, yun yung mga require, general requirements ng DLS-CSV. So, I will leave na lang all the requirements links will be on the description below. Nakaano naman yun for DLS-CSV and yun. So, second school tayo. Ito, a-apply ang to guys. So, if nakapasa ako dito in scholarship, see you guys there. Pero hopefully, hopefully talaga. So, the second school that, is, that has multimedia arts, and I guess famous naman siya, uh, is Mint or Meridian International College. So, yung uh, application period nila nag-start na. Nakausap ko yun dun sa admission kasi tumatawag ako. Kasi para mas okay pag tumatawag ka kaya sa mag-wait ka ng email. Kasi mas na-explain nila na mas ayos eh. Pero yun, um, pagka-apply nyo, you'll take the mint exam. Yes, you heard it right. May exam po sila. And, but yung good news lang sa exam nila is it's free, free of charge. Pero syempre, katulad ng ibang exam, isang beses ka lang mag-e-exam. Ngayon, kung hindi ka makapasa, ito. Kung hindi ka man makapasa sa exam nila, you'll be on their waiting list and i-interviewin ka nila to prove yourself kung bakit ka nila kailangan i-admit sa school. Pero, sabi sa admission, hindi naman, ano, hindi naman ganun kahirap yung exam and very few daw yung bumabagsak. So, the exam consists of, wait lang guys, ay sorry, The exam consists of math, English, science, and abstract reasoning, and also essay. So there are five, ano, parang if I'm not mistaken, twenty yata or thirty per ano per per subject. So yeah, this is general requirements of Mint or Meridian International College. So the first one is take the Mint X or their entrance exam free of charge. Exam passer shall receive an email with an interview invitation letter for mid admissions. Okay, and second is complete completed application form. Third is PSA birth certificate nga pero photocopy lang yung email niya sa kanila. 
Fourth one is two 2x2 colored ID photos, white background. Tapos, once accepted for admission, the applicant shall accomplish the rest of his or her admission requirements with a given deadline. So, ito yung mga kailangan nyong i-ano pag naka-admit na kayo or nakapasok na kayo sa MIN. Certificate of Good Moral Character, as I previously mentioned, yung katulad sa Benil. Photo photocopy of Senior High School Diploma, kung graduate na kayo. Pero, ngayon application kasi, malabo pa yung si grade 12 pa lang lahat tayo. Pero yon if meron na, then to follow na lang yung diploma. Third one is Form 138 or yung pinaka-overall grade nyo ng buong senior high school, kung tama man yung pagkakaano ko, and recommendation form filled out by high school guidance counselor. So, yon Ito, guys, yung pinaka-heavy sa lahat ng, ano, uh, tuition fees. So, ang tuition fee po ng MIM is, dahil 2 SEM basis sila, so, 1 SEM, 2 SEM. So, ang tuition fee, fee, fee po nila is, 115,000 if face-to-face -face learning. So, dalawang 115,000 po yun. So, sa isang taon nyo is 300,000 po. So, mas expensive po siya kasi sa Binil because of gawa nga ng international school siya. So, ayun. And the second one is, ngayong online class is 64,000. So, 64 divided by 2 is 128,000. Ngayon ha, So, ayun, um, pero don't be discouraged, they offer scholarships. They have two scholarships in MIN. So, the first one is your academic scholarship. Senior high school students who are applying for an academic scholarship are required to have a general weighted average of 90 with no final grade lower than 85. So, pwede niyong ipa-check yun dun sa ano. Ay, hindi. May GPA pala na 1 point something something. Pwede niya ipa-compute yun sa register or something. And the second one is talent scholarship. Senior high school students who are applying for talent scholarship would present their portfolio. This is for those who will take MMA. So, um, dalawa po kasi yung ano nila sa MMA. Pwede yung portfolio showcase or mag-drawing po talaga kayo. Pero dahil po, again, hindi pa ako maroon mag-drawing, ang option ko po is portfolio showcasing. Meaning to say, uh, yung portfolio ko, ipapasa ko sa kanila, then they will assess kung uh, papasa ba ako at for their scholarship ng talent. So, ito, um, you can email them at admissions at mintcollege.com for the scholarship application form and the list of full set of requirements. Results will be announced via email 2 to 3 weeks after the audition or application. Choose between talent or academic scholarship as I previously mentioned. So, yun guys, yun yung second school na may MMA, men. And again, nag apply din ako doon. So, if makapasa ako, I'll let you know guys. Kasi mag-exam ako by December pa. So, I will make a follow-up na lang vlog of this. The third one, the third school that I will mention is one of the most famous school dance next to Benil because one, their tuition is cheap and two, uh, multimedia school talaga sila. So, this is CIIT Digital Art School. So, ang application nila uh, is November 9 magsistart and mag-e-end sabi nung uh, nakausap ko sa admissions parang December 1st week or January hindi ko sure basta wala pang definite date ng tapos pero wala pa ding ano um, yun pero yung scholarships uh, eto guys is about the scholarship you can email them na you are interested in their school and sa scholarship para ma uh, ano para kayo yung una nilang i-inform about sa mga applications kasi yun yung ginawa sa akin Uh, nilagay nila ako sa waiting list na interested sa school. So, uh, one week before ng no application opening, uh, malalaman na namin yung mga informations for applications. Pero, uh, explain ko na lang din yung requirements. Pero, yung requirements na to, eh, yun din naman yung sinabi sa akin. Um, first one is schedule your entrance examination with our admissions officer. Just send us a message on Facebook. So, ayun, uh, they have exam din. Uh, may examination fee po sila na 500 pesos, non-refundable of course, and also one tick lang. Uh, second requirement is prepare the admission requirements and submit the soft copies a day before your scheduled examination via email at college at ciit.edu.ph Now, 
Second, a third uh, requirements is application form. Grade 11 report card for incoming first year college. Proof of payment for the 500 pesos examination fee. Fee, fee. You may pay this using our online payment channel via uh, ciit.edu.ph payment pack. So I'll leave that in the description below. And also you need a Gmail address. Important note. Make sure to show up online on the day of your examination at Adminis admissions officer will, will be proctoring your online exam via video conferencing and screen sharing via a video conference platform. Uh, ito yung guys yung mga need i prepare for the examination. So, keep note. Laptop, desktop, a mic and camera, second stable internet connection, uh, Gmail account, Google Hangout, and paper and pencil. Ito, bakit kayo, mag bakit nagtataka kayo, bakit may paper and pencil? May doing test po ang CIIT. So, hindi ko po alam kung ano yung sa drawing test, ah, uh, i-explain -e naman daw yon sa mismong araw ng um, uh, ng mismong araw ng exam. So, uh, my brother nag, ano na siya dati sa CIIT and explain ko na lang din na may exam, ay yung sa drawing test, parang nag-drawing siya ng character and yun nga, yun yung sabi ng friend ko na nag-apply sa CIIT. Tuition fee. So, ayun nga, na-mention ko nga na pin, sila yung pinakamura in terms of ano, ay hindi, ang pinakamura talaga is yung susunod na school dito, na-explain ko lang, kasi medyo tabi sila ng price in terms of overall per year. So, their tuition fee is 45k per term, tricem din po sila, um, tricem basis, so 45k, uh, let's compute guys, so 45k times 3 is 135,000. So, ngayon, yun yung face-to-face -face learning na tuition fee nila. But now na nasa pandemic and ano naging nagbawas sila naging 35 na lang. But here is the only ano nagpalit sila to quadrimestral. Quadrimestral from the word quad four terms na sila in a year. So kung kukumputin mo is 35. So yung kanina is 135. Yung pag ano face to face. So 35 times 4 is 140. So mas mahal siya na 5,000 cases a normal na price M. Pero, they have scholarships. Um, yun nga, uh, you need to email them for admissions kasi uh, mas better na si i-email nila sa inyo yung about sa scholarships. Kasi pag interested ka sa scholarship nila, iba pa yun. Uh, pero, explain ko na lang din. They have three scholarships. The first one is the Interweave Scholarship. Interim scholarship program is offered to incoming and new CIIT students who recently graduated from senior high school. To be qualified, he or she must be an honor student who has excellent grade in senior high school. So, ito yung mga honor students. So, you can apply this kung confident kayo na super taas ng grades nyo. Pero, apply pa din kayo. Eligibility, incoming college student from CIIT SHS or other SHS. Complete admission credentials, average grade in previous school, must be at least equivalent to 3.2 GPA or 93% based on CIIT grading system. Must have no failing grades. Must no, I must not have any major offense. Must pass the CIIT admissions test, student output and or portfolio. So yun nga, katulad ng min, kailangan nyo din ng portfolio. So ngayon pa lang guys, kung mag a kayo sa mga schools na to, need nyo na gumawa ng mga portfolio. Ano kailangan sa portfolio? Una, photography. Kung magaling ka sa photography and videography, kailangan nandun yung mga out sample outputs nyo na pinaka-best na sa ginawa nyo. Kung graphic design naman ng ano nyo, kailangan may mga graphic designs na kayo nagawa. Infographs or anything Photoshop related or Adobe Illustrator. Sorry guys sa mga background noise. Ewan ko, sinit ko na nga ng gabi. Ang ingay pa din ng aso namin. But yon So, portfolio is a must talaga. So, ngayon pa lang, dapat ginagawa nyo na yung portfolio nyo. Katulad ko, ginagawa ko na yung portfolio ko. And, ini-improve ko na yung mga dapat i-improve. Kasi, need na talaga yan. Kasi, syempre, i-invest lang ka ng school eh. So, kailangan ma-prove mo sa kanila na worth kang investa ng school. So, you need to prove to them na kailangan nila yon 
So, ayun, um, requirements, application form, at least two faculty recommendation letters. Ewan ko lang kung may format ba sila. But, call nyo na lang sila. Or email, hindi pala kayo makakapag-call kasi ano. But, there is a chat sa website nila. Yun, pwede kayo doon. Para tatawagan kayo nila, personally. So, yun yung nakakatawa. Hindi ka tatawag, sila tatawag sa'yo. But, yun, Certificate of Good Moral Character or Recommendation from the Guidance and Counseling Council. Counseling Center. And fourth is interview with scholarship committee. So, interview with kanila. Two to five minutes video presentation on why the student should be granted a scholarship. Explain yun doon. Bakit need nyo mag... Need nyo. Siyempre, para ano, ma-showcase nyo din yung multimedia skills nyo. Gandahan nyo na din, di ba? Para pak na pak. And also, um, pang-anim, pang-anim. Pang-six is latest certificate of employment with compensation. Ito guys tip na lang to. Hindi ko lahat, di ko sinasabi lahat, guys, ha. Yung mga mayayaman, please wag na kayong mag-apply ng scholarship. Kasi kung mayaman na kayo, hindi niyo na need ng scholarship. Be give way dun sa mga students na mas nangangailangan talaga. Madaming nangangailangan. So, katulad yan sa CSB, if mayaman ka na, nag-apply ka pa ng scholarship, mag-grant ka, sayang yung mga kailangan talaga. Kasi, aanhin mo yung scholarship. ba diba? Parang, eto guys, alam ko mababash ako dito, pero this is my only, ano, to the people who are applying. Mas okay na mag-giveaway tayo, especially now na pandemic. Mas need talaga ng iba yung scholarship kaysa sa, sa mga mayayaman. Pero anyway, ayun lang naman guys, in for, pinaka napupulot na aral dito. Well, wala naman din. <laughs> Madami akong mapupulot na aral dito sa binigay ko sa inyo kasi nga educational to. Pero yun, um, to the rich na mag-a-apply ng scholarship, please wag na. Give way na lang dun sa mga nangangailangan talaga kasi madami talaga nangangailangan, guys. And, ayun nga, um, ito, yung pang-7 is certificate of unemployment from barangay for all non-working parents and or guardians. So, ito guys, yung example netong 7. Wait lang, pause ko. So, my mom went to the barangay hall and got this. So, ito yung sinasabi kong form. So, certificate of indigency or unemployment. So, nakasulat dyan, uh, name ng parents nyo. Um, ayan, this is, sister, this is to certify that blank my mother's name, a mother of me, Raymond T. de Monteverde, 18 years old of age, male, single, is a resident of Adesamen, Barangay, Santa Lucia, Pasig City, who belongs to the low-income bracket and has no permanent source of income and or livelihood. Tapos, ayan. So, nakasulat din dito, this certification has been issued upon request for scholarship requirements. So, ayan, guys. So, eto guys, yung mga ito yung guys na kailangan nyo kunin sa barangay hall ninyo para makapag-apply kayo ng scholarship. Kasi, yun nga, isang requirement din ng, sa scholarship is yun nga, kailangan yung both parents mo is um, either na low income lang talaga, hindi talaga kaya, kaya kaya bibigyan ng scholarship or no work talaga. So, yun. So, guys. Need nyo yan, guys. I swear. Siyempre, kailangan niya ipo-photocopy yan kasi kung madami kayong school na apply yan, madami din yan. And, um, yun. Benefits ng mga scholarship nila is 100% tuition fee and miscellaneous fee. Um, di ko na i-disclose yung iba dito, but uh, I'll share na lang this Google Docs link in the description below. I'll, ano, parang ilalak ko siya for viewing lang talaga siya. Hindi niya pwede siya magalaw. Kasi baka pag ginalaw nyo, masabotahe. So, this is the third school. Yun nga, CIIT. Um, ito, may isa pa sila. Is the future CIIT Zen Scholarship Grant. Pero ito kasi, na-mention ko to dun sa admission officer. Parang wala, ay officer. Dun siya nakawasap ko sa admissions. Parang hindi pa to sure. And yung second one, is hindi din sure. Basta... Uh, mag-inquire na lang kayo about sa scholarship para pag nag-open na, mas ma-explain nila kasi nga, iba na yung iba kasi ito sa ilalabas nila ngayon. Siyempre, uh, gawa nga ng pandemic, there are certain adjustments that happen to accommodate yon 
And the fourth one, the fourth school that I will be mentioning. So this is the first five school that I will be mentioning. So, ito guys, next to CSB and CIIT, this is the prominent uh, multi-media school here in the Philippines is I Academy. So, I Academy, uh, let's start na for 2021, 21 and 22 application nila. And this is their uh, application uh, procedure. So, one is student applicants will fill out the information sheet. I'll leave the link of the information sheet below. Student applicant will now receive the admissions letter via email. Third one is student applicant will first register in ICENS to proceed. So, I'll leave the link na din sa baba. Once done, the student may click the other links of the admissions letter to know complete his or her I Academy journey. Excuse me. I Academy journey by watching the virtual tour webinars and to know more about our programs for senior high school and college. So yes, they have senior high school. Um, eto guys, hindi ko lang sure yung sa scholarship nila. Pero I know isa lang yung scholarship nila. At pinakaalam ko din is uh, mahal yung tuition fee sa I Academy. Hindi ko lang sure kung magkano kasi hindi nila nireply kung magkano eh. Pero yun. Um, fifth is student applicant may take the online exam by clicking on the link attached on the letter. After finishing the online exam, the applicant will receive an email from the admissions team for the next step. They have ano din pala, uh, application fee which is 500 pesos. And ito yung coverage ng exam sa... Ay, at nakalimutan ko i-mention. Yung sa CIIT pala guys, uh, Filipino English Science Math. I'm stuck reasoning and drawing. So, anim yung ano nila. Ito, yung sa I Academy. So, yung exam nila will be English vis Vicious Partial. Correct me if I'm wrong kung tama yung pagkakapronounce ko. Pero yun. And drawing. Hindi ko po alam kung paano yung drawing test nila. But, may drawing pa rin. So, ayun. Parang sila ng CIIT. So, I've mentioned na four schools. And ito yung pinaka-cheap next to um, CIIT. So, I will apply din dito, guys. So, ayun. Okay, so, the fifth one and the last for this video will be Southville International School. Southville International School or International School or some would say. Southville is in Las Piñas City. I know this school because I have a tita that lives nearby Southville and dati kasi tumitira kami sa kanila and lagi namin nandadaanan to Southville. And, um, yung application kasi, nakadepende sa inyo. Kung lumabas na yung first term grade nyo, you can email it na sa kanila para nagpa-process na yung application nyo. Pero for me kasi, wala pa akong, uh, wala pa yung first term grade ko, so hindi pa ako makapag-start sa kanila. Uh, baka December na din yung application ko sa Southville. Um, ito yung requirements nila, so this is a good news for all. Uh, wala po silang, um, entrance exam. So, yung grades nyo lang talaga yung ninyo. So, ito yung requirements is yung card nyo. Una sa lahat. First term, grade 12. 2 by 2 picture, latest ha? Latest guys. Hindi yung pinakadati pa. Pero latest. Clear copy of birth certificate, photo of report card, first term. At kailangan authenticated and red ribbon ng registrar. Third, Third and last is Certificate of Good Moral Character. So, ito yung mga requirements niya for admission in Southville. Registration and Enrollment Requirements. Original copy of report card. Hindi ko lang sure kung grade 12, grade 12 yata. Medical Certificate. And bago nyo makakuha yung medical certificate, syempre, magpapamedical exam muna kayo and drug test results from um, yung uh, Southville... International School College Affiliated Clinic slash Hospital. So, yun. Um, drug test. Siguro wala ka naman dapat uh, kabahan dito sa drug test. Not unless yun nga, bumabata ka. Patay ka pag bumabata ka. Pero yun, you shouldn't be alarmed naman sa mga ganito. Pero, I think that's all for this part 1. Pero explain ko na lang, ay hindi pa pala tapos, sorry, sorry. Explain ko na lang din yung tuition fee nila and also yung scholarships nila. They offer scholarship, but they don't offer financial aid. I'm sorry to say. Pero yun nga, more naman kasi tuition nila. So, your face-to-face -face learning is 64,150 per sem. 
So if we will compute, uh, as you remember, you say CIIT is 45 per term. So 135 yon. Now dito naman si South Bill is 64 150. I 64 150. Dahil two sem basis lang sila. Their overall total is 128. So mas mura siya kaysa sa 135. And kung online class naman, ito guys, mas mura siya pag online class kasi pag online class ng South Bill is only 51 100. So 51 100 times 2 is 102,000. So, yun sa, ano naman, yung sa CIIT 35K times 4, 140,000. So, mas mahal pa din siya. So, sa lahat ng mga multimedia schools, ito talaga po ang pinakamura. Yun nga lang malayo. Espe well, advantage mo kung taga Las Piñas ka. Pero yun, um, for me, na malayo sa Southville, they offer dormitory na sa school talaga affiliate. So, they have flex residences. I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, yun yung official dormitory ng school ng Southville. Na malapit na talaga sa school. Um, scholarship is search for the outstanding performing students. SGEN or Southville Global Education Network through SIV, SISC or Southville International School and Colleges. Blah, 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 blah. Hindi ko na iaano, haba, eh. Ayan, no? Pero yun, um, application is ongoing. Download the application form and email the accomplished form to pr at southville.edu.ph together with the following requirements. Number one, certificate of franking with GWA together with the number of graduating students, grade 11. Two, for certificate of good moral character. 3. Photocopy of Grade 11 Report Card 4. Photocopy of First Quarter Grade 12 Report Card Report report Card if available 5. Photocopy of Birth Certificate 6. 2 pieces of 2 by 2 picture So, same lang sila ng requirements pag hindi ka uh, mag-a-apply ng katulad ng scholarship Pero yun um, Ayun nga guys So, this is the first five na multimedia schools talaga ha Multimedia schools They offer multimedia arts So, the other five na i-mention ko sa vlog na to Is first one, Ateneo, UST, UP, um, Lyceum of the Philippines And Mapua University So, those five, yung dalawa hindi ko pa na-research Yung dalawa, ayun tatlo um, yung dalawa, yung UST and Ateneo, meron na sila and their application is now open. Tapos, yung UP, wala pa talaga akong balita. Wala pa sinasabi, wala pang announcement. But if meron, um, ba gawin ko na lang sa susunod na, or to follow na lang yun. So, yun, um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope na madami kayo natutunan. So, eto guys, important, ano na lang, so, kung pupunta kayo sa register na school nyo, kunin nyo na yung grades nyo ng buong first ay buong grade 11 nyo good moral character and also kung mag-apply kayo ng mga ano certificate of ranking so yung tatlong yan need nyo talaga yan so ayun if you did like this video give it a big thumbs up comment down below kung may natutunan kayo and also kung may mga gusto pa kayo malaman na schools I will make sure na i-research ko sila with scholarships and all kasi I too mag-apply din ng mga scholarship kasi hindi naman po ako mayaman <laughs> Sorry yun. If you did like nga, like, comment down below. And also, share this to your family and friends para madami ding makaalam and para may madami ding kayo matulungan ng mga mag-a-apply din for multimedia. So, yes. Boom na boom po ngayon ng MMA. And also, subscribe to my channel kung may natutunan kayo para makagawa pa ako in the future ng mga ganito. So, sunod nyo yan is tips on becoming a MMM stu MMM MMA students. But, um, yun nga, I hope uh, I educated all of you with these tips and tricks. Pero yeah, subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you guys in the next vlog or video that I will put out. So, bye guys!